Hey everybody, this is Daryl, aka The D from the Simply Incredible Podcast. Today I've got a really pretty sweet haul that I picked up at Roanoke Valley Comic Con. Uh, my good friend Chris, who you guys have seen on here when we play some disc golf, which in the future uh, I have started a disc golf channel. I have a link down below. Go over and check it up, subscribe it up so you can watch me and my friends butcher disc golf courses all over the place. We're not good, but we have fun playing. Uh, but Chris, um, from my, again, from my disc golf, he puts on this show, um, I think twice a year. So I always go up there. It's a small con, but always has some good stuff in it. Usually find some good deals on, on some good books. And of course, my good friend um, Travis from Longshot Comics was there. Uh, Andy from Bonafide Comics was there, and a few more, uh, a few more dealers there. It was a good little con there. Really enjoyed it. So let's see what all we got. Uh, we're going to start off with, hmm, you know what? I'm going to start off with the thing that I didn't expect to see, and when I saw it, I was like, I kind of need that. I kind of don't need that. I'm going to get that. For those who don't know, I'm a little bit of a fan of Harley Quinn. I know. You're shocked. You're amazed. Should have a Harley Quinn shirt on right now, but I don't. But uh, there was uh, one of my friends there, Tim, he was selling uh, Legos. Tons of Legos. He had some already built. This one Spider-Man bust was amazing. Didn't get it. <laughs> but he had these three portraits. One was uh, Batman, one was Joker, and one was... Harley Quinn. I had to get this. It was one of those things that I'm like, nah, I'm not going to get it. At the end of the day, he still had it. So I was like, Harley's coming home with me. This is awesome. So, and you know what? I'm really glad it's coming off really well on cam. Because uh, if you look at it close, it just looks like a bunch of dots. But it's it's Legos, and it looks amazing. Tim, thanks for hooking me up with an awesome deal on this. I'm so glad to add this to the collection. It's really cool. Again, when you look at it close, it's just a bunch of dots. Well, actually, it doesn't look like that. But yeah. Oh, there it goes. Oh, wait, it's a bunch of dots again. But anyway, that is awesome. Now to the comics. Lots and lots of comics. Let's see, four graded and a big stack of non-graded. So I'm going to do the non-graded ones first. And then some graded ones. Okay. Uh, this is one I did not have. Um, I've got the... You know what? I'm wrong. I actually do have this one. But this one is in a lot better shape than the other one that I have. Superman Batman Issue 8. You got Supergirl in there. Michael Turner goodness right there. So definitely had to pick that up. The Hulk. This is a variant. Oh, okay. Well, I, I, I'll be honest, I did not realize this. Uh, this is also a Michael Turner. So I thought that's pretty cool. Uh, this is issue... Um, six, this is the C variant. So definitely had to pick that up. I mean, it was only $5. So, you know. Now, a bunch of these are $5 books. Uh, this next big, huge stack of them were $5 books. But, um, when it's all said and done, I got a good discount on them. Thanks, Andy. <laughs> let me, you know what? Let me see. Because I have a few of those. Let's see, is that all of those I picked up? Uh, yeah, I believe that's all of them. Okay, should have got those in order a little bit earlier. Um, Batman, Three Jokers. When they came out, uh, my LCS was already gone. So um, I didn't get any of them. And I was like, yeah, somewhere along the way down the road, I'll find some. Uh, Andy had a big stack. He actually had more of them. And I kind of wish I had gone through and bought all of them. But I didn't. But I didn't. Oh, I just realized I got uh, book one, book one, and book three. Dog on it. 
He had a book too and I didn't pick it up. Eh, well. <laughs> I believe this is the A cover. And this one is actually when they came out. This is the, one of the ones I really, really wanted. This is one of the variants with the Joker fish on it. <laughs> Which always cracks me up, the Joker fish. And this is issue three. This is a variant uh, from the Killing Joke, kind of an homage there. So I thought that was pretty cool. Let's see. You know, I should have saved this one earlier. Uh, Batman Superman issue one. This is a variant that I did not have. I have they. There's at least three. Issue one. Uh, is the Superman cover issue, what's well, like a 1A and a 1B, but it's not a really, I guess technically not a variant. One has uh, Superman, one has Batman, and then this one, which is, I don't see who did the cover on this one, but I, I, I just thought that looked awesome. So I went ahead and picked that up to go with that Batman Superman run that I have. I think I have something like the first 40, 40, 41 issues. Which I bought those in dollar bins a long time ago. Okay. Anytime I see these, I always try to pick them up. The um, Marvel 25th Anniversary uh, Web of Spider-Man. Peter Parker, the spectacular Spider-Man, and the sensational Spider-Man. Marvel Tales presents, uh, Marvel Tales featuring, excuse me. <laughs> so, I went in and picked those up. At some point, hopefully I can get the whole run of those. It's going to be tough. They, they are actually pretty tough to, I mean, some of them are really, really tough to find. All right, these two are, are Charleston goodness. Uh, my friend Metarog, Roger, I know he's a fan of Charleston comics, and I saw these, and it made me think of him, and I was like, you know what? I don't have any of the old Judo Master comics. It's like, you know what? It's got a couple in the cheap band. Let's pick them up. Let's see. This is... Uh, issue 96 and 97. There's 96. Get my foot off, my, my finger off his foot, kicking somebody upside the head. And 97. I just thought those are really, really cool. <clears throat> I think if he had more of these, I, I think I would have tried to pick them up. Karate, Jiu Jitsu, Judo. They thought that was pretty cool to add to the collection. Masters of the Universe. I'm wrong. Injustice versus Masters of the Universe. This is issue one, the B cover. Skeletor in the background. Well, that was pretty awesome. I picked this up from our friend, so I'm hoping Ricky's not looking because it's going. I'm going to be giving this to him. Um, it is an image and it's got spawn on it. And you know, right off the bat, I don't like spawn, but it's actually called stupid. <laughs> I just thought that was hilarious. So there we go. I'm probably going to keep it. I'm not really going to give it to him. Or am I? <laughs> um, put the children away for a few minutes here. <coughs> Uh, Adam Hughes Goodness from Wonder Woman, issue 193. <laughs> there we go. Actually, I did not have this in the collection, so you know. A lot of those Adam Hughes Wonder Woman covers I, I try to pick up. Uh, this I just thought was cool. Uh, so I had to get this. Uh, Spider-Man, uh, the Walmart exclusive, not for sale yet. Somehow or another, I paid for it. I don't know how that worked out, but I just thought that was awesome. I'll say it. I liked the movie. Some people didn't. I liked that original Spider-Man movie back in the day. 
So there we go. This is one I did not have, surprisingly. Uh, Legends issue three. I'm trying to remember what they called this. It had something to do with the Teen Titans. Um, no, 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 no. Suicide Squad. Not Teen Titans. Suicide Squad. And I don't remember exactly what they called it. Because <clears throat> issue one was first appearance of Amanda Waller. I don't know if issue three is when she officially got uh, her Suicide Squad together. I, I don't know how that worked out, but there we go. It might be the first uh, official team up of the suicide squad i'm not sure but something along those lines but finally picked one of those up let me see um this uh, again i i saw this in the five dollar bin and i was like well i guess i have to get that <laughs> um I, I was actually talking to the guys and i saw somebody pull this up and put it back and i was like i don't remember seeing that in that box so i went and I, I from the back side looked so i could see the dynamic forces logo and the coa which is um action comics number 800 one of a specific specially limited series 725 signed copies by dan jurgensen so i was like yeah you know for five bucks I'll pick that Dan Jurgensen uh, comic up. Signed comic. So you can sign it right there. And it's got that COA with it from Dynamic Forces. So like, that's pretty sweet. Next, uh, this is one that I don't know how through the, through the years I, I missed this one. Um, probably not that many years, but still. Punisher number uh, 11. Frankencastle. I just thought that was awesome. <laughs> I mean, especially, you know, we're right around Halloween's coming up shortly. Frankencastle. Thought that was great. <laughs> Again, I don't know how I missed that through the years. Uh, Heroes. I used to, series, uh, season one of the TV series, I absolutely loved. Season two came around, not so much. But I, I saw this and I was like, you know what? I, I've never seen this. From 2007, San Diego Comic-Con uh, Heroes. You can see right there, it's got the Heroes logo. And it's got a seal on it. I have no idea how many of these were printed. He had two of them and I was like, I've never seen that. And I just thought that was really, really cool. So had to add that to the collection. Let me see if there's anything on the back that would give me a number of them or anything. Get season one on DVD. No, nope. nothing on the back to give me a, a number of them. But like I say, I just thought that was really, really cool. But like I say, season one, I thought was amazing. Uh, to... I think this is one of those things that depends on when you were born. If you were born uh, in the 80s or so, or maybe 70s, there's a good chance you like this movie. If not, yeah, you may, you may not. The movie Labyrinth with David Bowie and Jennifer Connelly. Uh, Andy had the set. I went ahead and picked it up. He's had it for the last couple of shows, and I kept wanting to get it. And I was like, I, I, I need to gonna wait on it gonna wait on it gonna wait on it finally pull the trigger on the set issue one issue two and issue three talking about the babe the babe with the power what power the power of voodoo <laughs> okay I, I hope you guys finish that <laughs> Uh, giant size Fantastic Four. Not X Men. But that's all right. This is one that I thought was awesome. You got Medusa right there in the middle. Uh, first appearance of Mad Rocks, the multiple menace. menace. <laughs> the multiple menace. It's hard to say. But uh, I thought that was really awesome. 
high grade on that looks spectacular from somewhere in the 70s I think it says on the side uh, it does not say on the side but I'm at 50 cent for a giant size I'm gonna say somewhere in the probably mid early 70s okay if you if you've already been on my on the YouTube channel you saw you may have seen the short of when I picked this up Andy he put it in his box you know, to sell mind you it was on the table on the table to sell so I was going through them and I saw I was like well that's pretty cool and it said first appearance and I thought well, who's the first appearance of in this Hercules number three by Topps Comics we have the first appearance of Xena Warrior Princess. Apparently, Andy, this is this is his copy, and he was like, he was like, well, I'm gonna try to meet her at a show and get her to sign it, and then he was just like, eh, just put it in there, and then I pulled it out. He was like, oh, you you actually pulled that? Out? I said, well, it was in the box, and I, I didn't know. He seemed to be all right with it. We we just had we had a good time. If you haven't seen the short, go watch the short. It was it was fun, good fun, good fun for the kids. All right, here's one I picked up from Andy. Again, hooked me up with a great deal. Detective Comics number eight fifty one. This is the uh, what do they call it? It's the variant. Uh, Gilliam March. Art Tony Daniels cover with Nightwing on the front with all of the characters kind of in the back. You guys can see those. And a 9.8. Yeah, these variants, um, some of them are kind of hard to find. Some of them not quite as hard to find. To be honest, I'm not sure on that scale where this one is. Uh, hard to find in higher grade. I don't know, but... I, I remember seeing this a long time ago. I thought, man, that's an awesome cover. And finally picked one up for a really good price. Thanks, Andy, on that one. Uh, <laughs> picked this one up from Travis at Longshot. Take my glasses off so I can read. Nah, let's put them right there. Stay. Okay. Uh, Supergirl number one. Reprint Supergirl number one from 2005. This is a San Diego Comic-Con 2017 exclusive. It just so happens to be a Michael Turner. So I was like, yeah, I'll pick that up. A 9.8. Came out in 2017. And I, I would tell people, to me, uh, Michael Turner was kind of a, a J. Scott Campbell. Uh, kind of before J. Scott Campbell really became known and famous as being J. Scott Campbell. He's got so many similarities to their work for me. But I saw this and I was like, yeah, I need that in my collection. Looks really, really awesome. Michael Turner from back in 2007. Well, actually, I don't know when he actually did this. Because if I'm not mistaken, I believe he had already passed away by this time. I'm not 100% on that. Uh, if I'm right, let me know. If I'm wrong, let me know. Because I'm not sure when uh, he actually passed away. But... Too soon is when he did. It's too soon. But awesome cover. So I went ahead and picked that one up. Let's see. What is this one? All right. We'll get this one first. I saw this one at Big Lit Comic Con a while back. And I thought, man, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's from 2010. It's quote unquote only a 9.6. But I saw this and I was like, you know, I need that in my life too. This is issue one by David Finch. It is Psylocke, issue one. I just thought that was an awesome cover. <laughs> and A Girl Called Hope, part one. Backup story by Dwayne Sh Swierzynski and Steve Dillon. I'm pretty sure that's David Finch, isn't it? Yeah, David Finch cover. So, yeah, I thought, yeah, I need that in the collection. Very, very cool cover. Oh, and by the way, we can play Tekken later. Let's go. 
And last but not least, I had to get one more Harley Quinn book. Did not have this one. Batman Gotham Adventures, issue 10. Andy was just like, just take the book. <laughs> I was like, I, you know, I'm not paying that much for it. He's like, and he, he threw a price down. I was like, well, I guess I got to get it now. <laughs> uh, featuring Harley and the Joker. I actually did not have this in my collection as a raw or graded or anything. So again, Andy, thanks for hooking me up. Uh, really basically book and grader fee. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I didn't, really didn't pay much more than, than grader fee on this one. So well, a little bit more than a grader fee, not a lot, but still awesome, awesome book. Glad it's in the collection. Thanks, Andy. Thanks, Travis. Um, and also this bad boy. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. <laughs> so that's all I got. And you guys, like, comment, subscribe, go to my Simply Incredible Disc Golf channel, sub me up, lots of disc golf uh, stuff coming up, more comics, more all kinds of stuff on this channel as well, and you guys have an incredible day.